And here's a Henry's cat you can make for your very own. And he's been transformed from Bob Godfrey's clever cartoon character into three-dimensional shape by Margaret Parnell. And I wonder whether you've guessed how he started out. Well, it's as a yellow foam bath sponge. When a new cartoon character hits the screen, there's bound to be lots of copies about, like the hundreds of models of E.T. And soon there'll be lots of Henry's cats about as well. But I bet they won't be as cheap as this one, which only costs you about 55 pence to make. You can use an oblong sponge if you want to. It's a bit more work, a bit more cutting, but you can use it. But uh, you need a pattern for the body of a piece of card 8 centimetres by 14 centimetres down. Lay that across the top of your sponge so that equal amounts of sponge are showing at each side. And then using a pen that hopefully doesn't smudge, draw down your pattern on each side. And then using the biggest and stoutest pair of scissors very carefully that you can find, cut into that sponge, and this does take a bit of time, until you are left with the sponge divided into the three sections like that. Don't throw these sections away, you're going to be using them later for the arms and the legs. But to divide the head from the body, then take a piece of, I'm using wool, but you could use string or cotton, and wind it as tightly as you can, just above the halfway mark, and then tie a very stout knot, trim off the ends and it's beginning to look like a head and body but it still needs some more trimming and I get some smaller scissors than those enormous ones because it's a bit fiddly this bit and I think you find those a bit difficult to handle and trimming very carefully round off the edges of the head and the body so that he looks like that now for the legs remember I said to use the side bits of the sponge that you trimmed away and for each leg Cut the side section in half and then cut off the corners at the top. And again, don't throw them away because those will be used later to make the ears. Doesn't look much like a leg at the moment. So using those scissors again, trim away those edges to round them off until you're left with a shape like that that looks a bit like a banana cut in half. Now you'll notice that our Henry's cat is movable. His arms and legs bend. And that's achieved with a pipe cleaner. Now, to get the pipe cleaner down inside the leg, use another pair of scissors, and these small nail scissors are ideal, to cut a small hole in the top of the leg. And then, just like threading elastic, push the pipe cleaner down inside. Now, this does take a while, but you can feel the end of the pipe cleaner as you go. And a good tip if you get stuck is to take the pipe cleaner out and start again using the other end. Now, once that's fully threaded, like so, trim away the ends of the pipe cleaner so that you're left with about four centimeters at the end and then to insert it into the body use those small scissors again to make a hole just at the join there and then pop the pipe cleaner down into it now it will stay on its own but a spot of glue in there will make sure that it's secure and the arms are made in exactly the same way except that you cut a pore shape in the end now, with all his arms and legs attached, he's beginning to look a bit more like Henry's cat, but he still needs some features. And his nose is made from an oval-shaped piece of card, like that, with a very thick black line around the outside of it, and then an oval-shaped piece of sponge glued in position. Now, stick that firmly on, and it's best to use glue for that. I'm using double-sided tape for speed, but it won't stay as well. And his eyes are made on another piece of card. This is about the size of a halfpenny with two black lines drawn down the middle like a number 11. And those are stuck into position above his nose. Again, using glue and not this tape, which isn't working very well. Now, his ears are made from those bits you cut off from the leg shapes, like so. And they're glued into position close together on the top of his head. And that stick glue is the best, but you need it nice and sticky. And while you're waiting for that to dry, you can stick a bit of card onto the soles of his feet. And you turned up the ends like that to make little feet shapes, which will not only finish him off a bit better, but also helps him to stand up. And last, but by no means least, his little mouth, which is a nice smiley W shape, and his all-important tummy button. Well, I must say, I think our Henry's cat is a very good likeness, but for an expert opinion, we're very lucky to have Henry's cat's creator, Bob Godfrey, here in the studio. Bob, congratulations. I'm very fond of your Henry's cat. What do you think of ours? I think he's superb. <laughs> <laughs> like you, <laughs> How many drawings go into each episode, Bob? 
About a thousand. A thousand. How long do they last? Uh, four minutes. A thousand drawings for four minutes. That's a lot, isn't yes, it? I think you're drawing blindfold yeah. by now, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you could do us a lightning sketch? Yes, I'll draw you him as cat. <clears throat> well, you know him best of all. What's he really like, Rob? Well, he, he's very, um, very cat-like. He's very fe feline, you know, and he's, um, he spends a lot of time in his rocking chair uh, watching TV and pondering, mm -hmm. and it's, it's quite <laughs> philosophical. He doesn't like water. He doesn't um, like work or exercise or anything like that. Um, he's got this little fat tummy and um, his arms sit out like that and then rests on the arm of the rocking yes. chair. And then it's bright orange, orange, um, bright orange rocking chair that he's got. <laughs> and, um, and then, sorry, I've left the bottom bit of the chair out, but he, the, his little bottom we there. And the then it's, it's, uh, his feet stick like that. looks very comfy. And um, then, of course, his TV sits here. And, um, all important. Yeah, all important, because that's where he gets all his uh, fantasies and ideas from. Yes. Yeah. And um, there What's he is. What's he saying, do you think? Oh, I think he's saying, um, oh, uh, uh, watch out for my next <laughs> episode on uh, you know, tonight at 5.35. Who on earth did you come up with that voice? Well, I, I, I've got a cat of my own, and I, I thought, well, if my cat could talk, you know, mm. um, uh, how would it talk? And I thought, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they whine a bit, you know. Suitably cat-like. I'm sure he's going to become a national institution, and thank Maybe. you very much for taking us behind the scenes. Mm. Well, I said there'd be lots of Henry's cats about, but I bet this one's the biggest.